Thanks for joining this demo of Glance for Salesforce, the only screen sharing tool with object level integration for both the sales and service cloud as well as chatter. In today's demo, we're going to show you how to actually launch a client screen sharing session on the fly as well as scheduled. Then we're going to look at how we automatically, uh, Glance for Salesforce automatically populates session activity, stores that in, uh, information as data in your Salesforce instance, and then allows for Glance to generate dashboards for reporting for both sales dashboards and services dashboards. So let's go ahead and get started. Glance allows you to launch screen sharing sessions in two ways within Salesforce.com. One is on the fly by clicking these buttons that are integrated at the object level. Glance for Salesforce is integrated across multiple objects. They include lead, contact, opportunity, campaign, and case. And if I'm on the phone with a, with a prospect or a client or a customer, as either an inside salesperson or tech support rep or customer service rep, and that person has an urgent need, uh, we can go ahead and dynamically click these buttons and launch a session at any moment and connect in, in seconds, no matter where that customer is or what device they're on, including any mobile device. Or, more traditionally, we can come down to activities and we can actually click this button to schedule a glance meeting. We go into this activity record, you'll see that it's no different than a, a standard activity record for Salesforce in the sense that you go ahead and schedule the activity. In this case, it's a glance session. You decide which rep you want to assign it to. Maybe you assign it to yourself, give it a name, and then invite attendees to that session that will occur in the future and go ahead and pick a time. As well, what Glance or Salesforce does, it automatically populates the description field and is integrated with common email packages like Outlook and then will then actually send an outgoing invite directly to the clients and all attended invitees. But for now, what I want to do is I want to go back to the lead object and talk a little bit more about exactly how we launch a Glance session. So regardless if you do it on the fly or through a scheduled event, you'll find these two buttons. Here, you'll find it right within the uh, lead detail on the object record. If you actually schedule a session, you'll find it within the activity record. And say, for example, I'm a sales rep and I take or make an, an outbound phone call to a prospect. And that prospect tells me she only has a handful of minutes, but is interested in learning a little bit more. It's as easy as just clicking this button, Show. As soon as I do that, Glance for Salesforce will remind me that I'm getting ready to actually share my screen. And it allows me a moment to prepare myself. So I'll minimize the Salesforce.com record bring a PowerPoint presentation which I want to give that prospect, and then let the system know that I'm ready to go. As soon as that happens via the telephone, I simply pass my customized URL address uh, to the client. In this case, it's jj.glance.net, along with my own private session key, a simple four digits, 2012. What you'll find is that uh, once, the, once your guest connects, you'll get a visual notification in the lower right-hand corner, as well as an audible chime to let you know that guest is connected. We connect via patented technology using Ajax, which guarantees a connection in less than two or three seconds every single time, you know, no matter what, and does not require any download. Once connected to the session, I can act like that customer is just literally sitting in the chair next to me, and I can proceed through my presentation, demonstration, or collaborative session no matter what I need to do. Once we complete that call, I can then go back to the Salesforce.com instance, and I can then actually go back to that information within, uh, within the lead account. Typically, without Glance for Salesforce, all the information about the session would have to be manually entered by the agent. For example, what time the session started, how long it lasted, any kind of detail. That, however, promotes poor data collection and therefore ongoing downstream poor reporting. With Glance for Salesforce, one of the greatest things is that our cloud-based service automatically streams all the information about the session instantaneously upon completion of the session. So therefore, the agent does not have to spend any time manually updating any activity records. And instead, Glance automatically populates the Glance details for what time that session started, what time it completed, what type of sen session it was, whether it was a show, meaning more than likely a sales session, or a view, a customer support session the unique session key, how many guests were there, and where they joined from. For example, if you'd like to see how this screen is actually populated, I'll bring you back to my Fred Flintstone lead, and we'll look at, Fred's, uh, we'll look at some of the history within Fred's lead record. If I come down here to the active, active history area, and I look at a session that was given back on May the 17th, and I open that session, you'll see now an example how some of that data is populated. Here you can see the glance session was run. It was run for 12 minutes. 
the start and end date, the session key. There was one guest. They were in the great city of Arlington, Massachusetts, and the rep gave a demo by showing what was on their screen. All done instantaneously and automatically without any manual interaction needed from the agent. Why is that important? Well, it's very important because a lot of us make big investments in Salesforce.com for, as we call it today, big data. And why is big data important? Because that's how we drive a lot of our decisions and change our business process around what that data tells us. So data accuracy is key. So that's why with Glance for Salesforce, we ship two completed dashboards, one for sales and one for service. In each dashboard, we can, uh, each dashboard contains about six reports. Any, any of these one reports can be customized to your liking. In this case, this is what standardly comes, uh, comes standard with your subscription. So if we just look for a moment, concentrate on average demo time to context by lead source, and we think about the power behind that one report. If we think about this in terms from the marketing department and how much investment we make in leads every day, if not you know, every year, there's a great amount of spend that occurs here. And we want to make sure that the right leads get paid the right attention to and that demos are being given to the right people at the right time. We also know that we spend a lot of leads across a number of different shows, for example, shows or events. And we're wondering a lot of times, well, what is the sales activity like within 30 days following those events? Glance for Salesforce, because we can actually correlate the ability to see what reps gave what sessions to what leads by what lead source, can now give you that information at a glance right within this simple format. And whether we do it here within the sales dashboard or by simply toggling a switch and looking at a support dashboard, we can get very similar accurate activity information. Going back to my lead record, looking at Fred Flintstone, I just want to review with you the couple of things that we've covered. First is Glance is an object level integration, which means that we're able to collect data at an object level, whether that information is collected at a session created on, or started on the fly or from a more traditional scheduled event. That data is then automatically sent from the Glance cloud service directly to your Salesforce.com instance in which it can be reported on on the two different dashboards that we ship with the product, both the sales dashboard and the services dashboard. In a nutshell, that's what Glance is. There's actually a lot more to it, and hopefully what we can do today after this demo is done is answer any of your questions. Thanks so much.